peed out. Wow, the landscape here is insane. Look at this. This is the fourth largest glacier in Iceland, I think. No, not you think. <laughs> I know. I know I'm going to a glacier, but I am English, so I'm just going to say it. It's too cold. It's bloody cold. It's going to be a documentary or anything yeah, like we that. Yeah, like, 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 ah, okay. yeah. I'm glad to see you, kind of like in the O. Alright, I've just learned what a glacier is. A glacier is made of ice. No. Yes. Oh yeah. A glacier is made of ice, but it's not water. It's snow. Layers of snow pack on top of each other, creating a pressure as they all layer on top of each other put pressure down onto the next layer, onto the next layer and they condense down into a glacier and the reason these are volcanic glaciers is because they also have layers of volcanic ash throughout them that's why you see all the black lines hold on let me go try and get a better one for you we're going to be going inside in a minute but it, it's very interesting what she just said about glaciers, but I, I, well, you probably retained about thirty percent. I think if I try and tell you now what she just told me, I'm going to look like a moron because I cannot relay it very well, and I probably get it wrong. But look at this. You see that there? That is a glacier, and it is connected to all of this. That whole mountain looking structure is made of ice that is the glacier and she says underneath all of this ash here you see all the volcanic ash the ice that 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 little one there is connected to that monster that we're walking towards right now i need a piece. i need a wee so bad i'm gonna go somewhere has to be done It was a 40 minute drive here and now it's a 15, 20 minute walk. We stopped halfway for us to tell us some things, but this all used to be water. She says at one point, this was the biggest river in the world, 20 kilometers wide, when all of this melted years and years and years ago. And now it's just this. Bloody freezing, it is. It's bloody freezing. All this. That's not rock. That's ice. The whole thing is ice. It's awesome. That is a glacier made of snow. It's crazy. Oh, I can't wait to go inside. It's going to be awesome. This is well worth it. If it's loose a little bit, it's fine, but not too much. So just like that. You can close also the benches around here. So you just tell me the size of your shoes and then I will give you small, medium or large or extra large. Yeah? Thanks for I've got big old shoes lower than if you've got big enough for me. Thank you. Alright these. Spiky. We should wear these all the time. Why? They look cool, you don't think? Am I the only one with odd ones? Yeah, odd bod. It's quite nice to run on this. It feels like you're running on the moon or something. Sorry. It's a very satisfying sound, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It's a 
glory hole. she described glaciers as well is that they kind of move somehow they sort of burrow their way under the ground and because she said that one of the people on the tour is now too scared to go in there so she's kind of had to say you won't feel it moving but she's still panicking a little bit now thinking that there might be like some sort of earthquake in there or something Now, how are your Nike blazers holding up? All right, I'm just a bit cold. My feet are cold, but they've been sweet. They've been so comfortable. You're just dodging all the puddles. Yeah, they're frozen. I've got, I've got uh, frostbite. Frostbite. Tighter than I thought it would be in here. Look at that. Man, it's all packed with snow. They say this is the fourth largest glacier in Iceland and it is 700 metres deep at its largest point. These little caves are formed by little rivers that flow through. There's a pressure mount from one end. It pushes water through as it melts and it creates these little tunnels throughout. Awesome, it's so beautiful. Look at it. Thick walls of ice. Like a big igloo. So cool, honestly, mental. Yeah. You see this? Little river. Go through there. What's that way? Right. Don't know. So, guys, if you go all the way there. <laughs> yeah, go on, Nat. Go, go, go in the stream. <laughs> Somehow, Natalia made it across the stream.
you're sick here, right? You can see perfectly, you can see perfectly how there's been layers over time. You can see there's ice and there's black lines, obviously where that was the top for a certain amount of time, but the dust has blown over it. It snowed again, snowed again, the layers come on top and you can really see the layers in the ice here. You can see all the sides of it. As the water's washed it away, it's left like this sort of pattern down the side. You can easily see where the layers of, uh, where the old tops were, so, so to speak. And although this looks like a massive crater, it's actually not a crater at all. It's basically just where, this is all one big piece of ice. The water's come rushing through here and over time, the pressure from the water has made the whole thing collapse. And that's the, this is the sort of crater-like shape you see here today, like a big bowl but it's not actually a crater caused by any sort of eruption. It's actually just collapsed through pressure over time of the flowing water and it's beautiful. Now, just to give you an idea of how special these tunnels are, and when they're that sort of size, the age difference between this one here and the one we just walked through is only one and a half years. So one and a half years it took to get from that to that. Eventually that will just collapse and it will be no more. That's probably why it's so expensive to come here because it is a, it's like very rare for you to see something like that in that stage of its life. Again, you can see all the layers in the ice. You can see them all through here. All through. It's, it's absolutely stunning. Just never seen anything like it. It is ridiculous. I don't even know if the camera is going to pick it up how you can see it in person. The light reflecting off all the little shapes in the ice. It looks so cool. It's like a, like a church window. Back in at D, when they found this, they used to take people through it and walk through. But it's not possible anymore because it's too dangerous. That literally, obviously it's expanding every day. And one day they're just gonna come here, somebody's gonna have paid for a tour and the other thing would have collapsed. But I suppose they've got the newer tunnel there now. There'll be a rainbow in there. Am I gonna catch that on this? Probably not, maybe. Look at that. Very little today, but still. A little bit of rainbow in the ice. <laughs> We're about to learn what that is. It looks like uh, oil or something. Yeah, a bit like oil. Um... There's like little bits of rainbow in the ice. What is that? Oil? No, no, no. There is a rainbow. It looks like an oil mark. Like. like My hand is so cold, honestly. My camera holding hand is freezing. I expect to see appreciation down in the comments. A lot of thank yous, a lot of love yous. <laughs> and the way that rainbow is formed in the in the ice, I didn't really understand. She said it's because as the rainbow passes, as the light passes through the water particles, it creates obviously the rainbow that we as we see it in the sky. Or well, in the glacier, it absorbs because the ice because the water droplets are so far apart, it absorbs the light and creates the rainbow colour whenever you whenever you look at it. So it reflects back into our eyes as a rainbow, even through the glacier, even when it's not raining and blah blah blah. So very interesting. And it's like little tiny spots of it as well. It's weird. It must be like little areas where it's not very dense. Because she was saying that obviously when you look at a glacier, it looks blue, sometimes it can look purple in the winter months. It's because it's really dense, really dense ice. And the blue has the shortest wavelength, so it reflects back to our eyes. It's more sensitive to our eyes, that's why we see it as blue. But it's really, it's just water. It's, it has no colour, but the, as the light passes through it, it absorbs it, and if it's dense, it'll come back as blue. Very interesting.
I just hope I've explained that properly. No doubt some colour rainbow boffin is going to come in the comments in a minute and uh, correct me on everything I've just got wrong. <laughs> it's the colours of this landscape here. I know I've said it before. But the colours of the landscape in Iceland are unlike any I've ever seen before. The black on the moss the yellow grass everywhere is completely unique. It's actually crazy. You've got the black, goes into the mossy green, into the snow on the mountains. It just looks stunning. And I don't have any equipment here good enough to capture it as I see it right now. But trust me, it looks unbelievable. This was worth every single penny. I know I come across as tight in a lot of the videos, and I am tight on certain things. But if there's a, if there is a, an experience that is unique to the area that I'm not going to be able to do anywhere else, then I will spend the money to do it. And this is one of those things you've just got to do. Anyway, my battery is about to die, so I'm going to leave it there. Have a great rest of your day, whatever you're up to, people. And I'll see you next time. Good night.